Hello everyone, it's your boy Dan, and oh boy is it good to be back. Now you may be wondering, didn't you just make a video like a month ago? And the answer to that question is yes. But also it's complicated. I've been doing backlog content. I actually haven't recorded a video since October of 2020 with my Halloween tier list. And the videos before all the Black Stravaganzas were filmed in like June 2020. So it's almost been two years since I've actually sat down and recorded some content. That aside, today we got a banger of a meal to try. So recently when I've been looking, I've been seeing these devour meals show up in my stores and they're about 325. So I actually splurged a little bit on these meals. So today we have the devour creamy bacon alfredo, devour creamy bacon and chicken mac and cheese. And we have the devour chicken cordon bleu mac and cheese. I guess we're back to full on microwave masterpieces. We're gonna be going head to head with these two and seeing which one I like more. So without further ado, let's get cooking. Alright guys, we're back with the food. I'm gonna take these off, not for the bit, just because they are Spygu Spinet sunglasses from 2011. And they're tiny, because they're child glasses. So let's take a look. Noodles look pretty good. The chicken pieces, they're a little bit hardier than most other chicken bits. Uh, the bacon looks really like, it, it's, it's very sparse. There's not much bacon in it. It looks like noodles with cheese, bacon, and chicken. So now we're gonna have a taste test. I'll get a little bit of noodles. I'll get a little bit of chicks. Bon appetit. As suspected, the chicken ain't bad, but it's not really good either. It's definitely better than the Hungry Man Double Meatballs stuff. Noodles are pretty good. They're nice and uh... yeah. Tasting the bacon, it's definitely a bit weak. As unfortunate as that is, the rest of this meal takes, tastes pretty good. I do think the sauce could go for a bit more seasoning. It kind of has like a dull cheesy flavor, whereas like a lot of them are like a vibrant cheese, like cheese sauce in the best mac and cheese. And maybe that's like an Alfredo thing. I think as far as microwave food goes, this is a pretty good meal and I'd probably eat it again. Now it's time to move on to the chicken cordon bleu. Hey guys, it's your boy Danny Del Fuego back. About to try the chicken corn on blue. Uh, so without further ado, let me put on my sunglasses so I can see in a bright house. <sighs> Much better. All right, let's go. So taking a look at the meal, it looks pretty good. The noodles look nice. There's chunks of ham and chicken and all that jazz inside. Cheese sauce is looking nice and saucy, nice and sh It's got a nice sauce consistency to it. And the noodles are a nice noodle consistency. All right, so now the description's done, let's get on to the taste test. Wow, that's a really good flavor. The ham is pretty dang good. Chicken's just like the last one. I like the cheese sauce a lot more. I'm not the biggest fan of Alfredo, I guess, but I really do like this cheese sauce. It's like a mozzarella Swiss kind of blend. Noodles are nice and good consistency wise. Generally, microwave foods could go with a bit more seasoning, a bit higher quality ingredients, but you're kind of like limited to using a microwave because a lot of real foods don't cook very well in microwaves. So overall, this is a very strong, very good microwave meal. Now with that all said, let's get on to the final review portion of this video. So 
So, as far as the chicken alfredo one went, it was pretty good. I didn't think the bacon was that prominent. And I think the alfredo could use a little bit more flavor. But other than that, the noodles were really good. I like the type of noodle, the little spiral ones. The chicken was good quality, I won't lie. So I'm gonna have to give that one probably six and a half out of 10. So as far as the chicken cordon bleu meal went, honestly, the noodles were just as good. They were the, not the spiral ones, but they were like the spinny macaroni ones. The cheese sauce was a bit better. I liked the blend and I liked how it had like actual like shredded mozzarella in there. That was fantastic. The ham was really good quality, unlike the bacon where it was like good, but it wasn't that prominent. The ham was really prominent. The chicken was really good. I'd recommend cutting it up into little bits before you eat it so you get like maximum flavor. Cause it comes in like two or three like big nuggets, which I don't think it's right. I think it really should be dispersed throughout the entire meal. But that said, the sauce was great. The noodles were great. Ham was great. Chicken was great. It was a great blend. And honestly, I'm gonna have to give this one a nine out of 10. Great job, Devourer. So which one did I like better? I'm gonna have to say the chicken cordon bleu. But I am gonna upfront my biases there. I'm not the biggest fan of Alfredo and I really like chicken cordon bleu. So if you like Alfredo more, you're probably gonna gravitate to the chicken Alfredo one. And I think there's even one that's just like Alfredo with noodles. That one's also really good. There's a buffalo chicken one too, which I'm gonna have to try one of these days. Regardless of which one you guys think is better, I think Devour killed it with these meals. And I'm really glad because these are pretty high quality. They are a bit on the pricey size at like $3.25, $4. But it's definitely like the highest, some of the highest quality you're going to be getting out of microwave foods. But yeah, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, all that jazz. Honestly, it does really help when you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. And yeah, I've actually grown a bit in the last couple months. So yeah, guys, keep that up. It's great. I love the support. I'm going to get back to filming and editing videos. I did have a bit of a hiatus there because work got pretty busy around the holidays and like just life stuff. I had to just go on a little break. But I should be mostly back editing videos whenever I get the chance. I'm back to filming too. I do have the secret hidden videos that I'm planning on doing more of. And you can find those, the links just hidden in the videos. If you want to know, the first one is in the microwave section near the end. And the second one is in the intro when I'm looking at my phone. So yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned. Keep look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Danny Del Fuego, out.